the chance to attend PetCon, an event that brings together some of the world's most influential social media pets. Today, I'm inviting you to join us on this unforgettable Chicago adventure with Lou and with Nala. We just made it to our hotel. We are at Home Two Suites by Hilton. I mean, of course, we're at Hilton. We're sliving. And look at the cute setup they did for us. So freaking cute. This is a towel dog. I can't. So cute. And these are Lou's favorite treats. And we even got bowls that are bigger than Lou and Nala. <laughs> I gotta show you the view. Perfect city view. With their perfect little dogs. Okay, I think the girls are hungry. Having a blast. <laughs> Rise and shine. Okay, Lou, where are we going? We're gonna meet your other friends. We're gonna meet other dogs. We're just about to head out. We're going for a little cocktail and Chicago pizza with the other dogs and pets from PetCon. So it's going to be fun to meet everyone. Lou's already exhausted, but Nala's going to take over. So thank God we brought Nala, huh? She got the crazies. <laughs> we'll keep you posted and we'll film the other dogs because dogs. Oh my God, you girls look adorable. Look at the matching outfits. Look at this little dress. <laughs> so cute. Are you girls ready? Let's go. Are you hopping in your bag, Lou? Okay, let's go. You can hop in. Come on. No, Lou wants the night off. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Lou. Oh, my God. Hop in. Hop in oh. the magic bag. Oh, good girl. Oh, my God, she just disappeared. Where are you? <laughs> okay, good night. It's <laughs> so cute. Okay, we're back at the hotel. The girls are exhausted and so are these girls. So <laughs> we're going to bed because the girls need to sleep to be fully charged for tomorrow and Sunday. It was so much fun. I met Crusoe, I met Daphne, I met the duck. I met Seductive. I was honestly starstruck over a duck, a duck. <laughs> so that was really funny. And I met a rabbit and so many other cute dogs. It was the perfect party. Lou is exhausted. <laughs> Lou, it's Friday. You gotta pep up. It's not Monday. It's not even Monday. Nala's full of energy. What's up, Lou? You're resting up for PetCon, huh? Is that what it is? Poor Lou. It's not easy being a Chi Chi. Hi, where are we going? Are we going to PetCon? Made it to pet gun. Oh my god, Lou. Oh. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you saying? Lou's first red carpet ever. She's doing great. Oh, well, not so great. <laughs> you want to walk the carpet? <gasps> Lou, you have a friend right there. Go meet your friend. It's my way. It's my way. 
<laughs> then it was time for our panel with Tika the Iggy. I'll insert a snippet right here and you'll probably hear Nala crying in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so kind of starting just an Instagram in general, but I feel like also from fashion, we both have kind of started side projects. So Thomas, I want to hear about Tika's new book. And then Tisia, I want to hear about Shabu's Closet. Yes, yeah, so we wrote a kids book in 2021 and it was very successful. We had so much fun with it. We had a really good reception for it. And then since then we've had people ask me, is there a complicated book coming out? I want to where Tika kind of tells me how it my life, like how Tika did this, how Tika hosts the dinner party. So we wrote this really fabulous book that's coming out this fall. Um, and it's pretty much a what would Tika do that you could apply it to your life. You know, how does Tika travel, how does Tika live in her community, how does Tika, you know, not show her neighborhood. So it's, it's a really cute book with lots of great photos and it's, it's going to be really fun. Will Tika tell me how to dress, maybe? Yes, there's a whole fashion on fashion, of course, a whole chapter on fashion. Um, a lot of her style tips that are maybe good for her can also be applied to the, a human in real life, so it's good. It'll, it'll be I'm, I'm taking notes. Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good applicable look. <laughs> So we have a pet apparel clothing store. Um, we've had it since 2020. I actually got a DM in January 2020 from Kathy Hilton, who is Paris Hilton's mom. And she was asking me if she could buy some clothes because she liked outfits. And I did not have a store, but I lied and I told her I did. <laughs> Which is a bit of a doctor's yeah, 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 yeah. You don't say no. The store for her basically, and I sent her a bunch of clothes. She posted it on Instagram, she tagged us, and the store took off from there. And now it's a full time job. So, is it only the things that Lou wears, or is it just like things that you think of that you think other people would like to wear? Uh, well, she wears everything, so she has one of each. That's why I saw it now that I had in my closet. <laughs> Uh, but everything she wears, uh, people can recreate the looks, so that's the, the concept. And those two things are very nice. So. Okay, so we just came back from PetCon. Lou is exhausted. I've never seen her this tired. <laughs> Look at her. We left pretty early. Um, we ended up leaving right after Lou's panel because the girls were too tired and like I always say they didn't ask for any of this so respecting their boundaries respecting their limits and now it's nap time but it was so much fun we had a panel with Tika Diiki I was starstruck it was so much fun talking about Lou and fashion so much fun meeting everyone also and we'll be back tomorrow but first a 23 hour nap She's falling asleep in my hand. <laughs> oh. We are heading out for supper and we're gonna try to go see the bean. I know she's the bean, but there's another one here apparently. So we'll keep you posted, but I'm aiming for pasta, pizza, and lots of naps after that. Louis still exhausted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor baby. Nala's probably playing by herself. As you guys can imagine, Lou ended up sleeping for about 13 hours straight. And then it was time for PetCon day two, which was such a blast. We had another guest speaking event, this time with Crusoe the Dashan. And then after that, we had a meet and greet, which was such a fun moment. I'll insert a few clips from our very special day. I mean, obviously you guys both got into this because you had already had your social media accounts for Caruso and Lou. So how do you guys balance managing all of your social media platforms still because obviously you're both so very active and running a business at the same time? Do they intersect? Do you try to keep them separate? And like, how do you balance doing both at the same time? So that's a great thing that they intersect actually. So Lou is 
her own influencer. She she promotes her own brand. So the concept is Lou's gonna wear a different outfit every day in her content, and people can shop that look directly on the website. So it just works very well for that. Uh, but it definitely does get a lot. It's very busy um, in the morning. Lou does not want to create content, so that's when I work on the store, and then in the afternoons, that's when we create the content uh, the content with Lou. And then at night, that's when I don't sleep because I work more. So it's definitely a lot, but it's great having Lou to promote her own store, so it all works out well. Uh, how do you come up with video ideas, both? Yeah, both of you. How do you come up with video ideas? That's a good question. question. Yeah, very good question. Uh, that's also a challenge because we aren't inspired every. Well, uh, I'll speak for me. I'm not. Not every day I wake up with a different idea, so it, it is challenging to find that different idea that'll go viral every day um, but I do get inspired by other creators and then try to recreate it with my own little touch or whatever's happening in my life so when Lou does like little motivational videos it's because I need an, an extra push I need to feel better so usually Lou's content is a reflection of how I'm feeling uh, it's, it's definitely getting tough for us uh, I've been doing this 13 years now which is pretty crazy, so we've gone through a lot of the ideas already. Uh, and then, you know, as TikTok and different platforms come up, it's like, oh, they'll just go through it all again kind of thing, or find different ideas, but um, we try to go through different themes, like, you know, okay, let's do something in a library or a police department, or kind of just go through different sports and activities and themes. Uh, but my, my girlfriend, Lauren, she's pretty good at coming up with ideas, so, I like to say, you know, I just lock her in the closet, and once she has a good idea, she can say it. <laughs> oh, we have a question over here. How many videos have you each made? How many videos do you think you guys have made? That's a tough one, if you guys can count. There's been a lot, but how many? Hard to say, but we probably never really missed more than two days in a row and we've been posting every day for three years so 365 times three minus a couple holidays i guess it's a lot yeah definitely a lot um... back from PetCon day two. It was so much fun. It was even better than what I expected it to be. I'm sorry if I didn't film as much as I wanted to. Of course, it was really hectic. Um, so just to recap, today we're Sunday. Yesterday was uh, our first guest speaking event. So we were doing a guest speaking event with um, Tika's Human. We talked about fashion which was super fun because Tika is also a Montreal dog and she's in fashion so it's like a great fit and it was so much fun meeting Tika and her humans obviously and her little sister Kala and it's so funny because they got Kala in December and she's the little sister and we got Nala in December and she's the little sister so we do have a lot in common and just meeting all of Lou's supporters and Nala supporters was so special. It was the best part of my weekend. Um, today we had our meet and greet. There were so many people. I was expecting like one person, but there were so many of you wanting, wanting to see Lou and Nala and everyone was just super, super kind and respectful of Lou and Nala's boundaries. So it was truly heartwarming. And we also had another guest speaking event today with Crusoe the Dachshund's dad, who is Ryan, and he uh, has doggo ramps, which we love, the ramp, the bed ramp we always talk about. So he was with me on a panel to talk about doggo ramps, and I was there to talk about loose closet. So it was a really good opportunity to talk about our store. And what else did we do? We talked a lot. It was so much fun meeting all the creators. That's another one of my highlights. So meeting all the humans behind the pet accounts. It was like everyone was super sweet, um, made some new friends, so that was great. 
So yeah, like everything was a highlight. Everything was perfect. It went even better than I thought it would be. So I'm going to bed tonight with my heart full and I, I, I'm so sad it's over. It feels like Christmas is over. And oh wait, let me show you Lou and Nala. I mean, they're way more interesting than me. Okay. Lou? How was it this weekend? Huh? Wait, let me put you on the other bed. No, you're comfortable. I'm not gonna move you. Lou, how was it this weekend? Did you have fun? I hope you did, Lou. She's dreaming about all of you guys. <laughs> she was so sweet. She was very good with everyone. Now she's just really tired. I mean, we're not doing anything tomorrow. We're just letting her sleep all day. This little one is tired too. She also did very good. She's only nine months old and she's already a celebrity. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, good night guys.